Welcome back to Navi Resistance Training. I'm going to show you the easiest way to defeat RDA bases and remain undetected so you still get the maximum amount of loot. And the best thing about this method is it allows you to take on RDA bases that are well above your power level and you can still one hit kill the RDA AMPs, even if they are extra armoured variants. My last video explained everything about the stealth mechanics which you should really know so I recommend watching that, I'll link it in the description below. This new method uses the SID hacking device on the RDA AMPs instead of aiming for their rear weak spot vents with an arrow. Using the hacking tool has many benefits. Now you have no risk of accidentally missing the weak spot on the back of the AMP and alerting the entire RDA base. Plus, some of the AMPs have extra armor protection that covers up that rear weak spot so you can't be hitting it. The hacking tool will work 100% of the time on any AMP, no matter what level they are, especially if they're higher levels than you. So if you're attacking an RDA base that is higher in level than you, you should definitely be using this method. The only thing you need for this to work is to unlock the Eject Ancestor skill. That way when you hack the AMPs, you can quickly pull the RDA pilots out of the suits to instantly remove the threat. You can get this skill at this location shown now, just south of the home tree and north of the threaded river. Using the SID hacking tool is great if there are two or more AMPs that are too close to kill without the other being alerted. If you hack them and store the hack, once you're ready you can trigger it and it'll last long enough for you to kill both the AMPs before the hack wears off, which is perfect for any tricky situation. It is also a really good idea to store the hack until the AMP moves to a location that is safe for you to not be seen by other patrols. That way there is no risk of being detected and you can still make your way through the base. If you are still finding it difficult, you can make it much easier by going into settings and allowing the auto complete SID lock on and auto complete SID hacking. This will allow very quick lock ons and automatic hacks to really speed up the process and take the pressure off you if you need it. So this option is up to you. As mentioned in my previous stealth video, the Reconnaissance Ancestor skill is very helpful for taking down RDA bases and remaining undetected. It really helps find weak points and safe targets to kill that won't alert the whole base. There is also clothing items that you can wear that increases the range of the SID hacking tool to make things even easier if you want to hide and hack from a longer distance. I haven't found a use for storing hacks on turrets yet, so I recommend executing the hack instantly. If you can think of a situation though where storing the hack on a turret would be helpful, please let me know because I'm interested to find out. And that wraps up this video. Thank you for watching and I hope you found it helpful for defeating RDA bases. If you did, please give me a thumbs up as it really helps my small channel out. I'll be releasing an Ikran mastery guide soon so I hope to see you there. Happy hunting Navi!